Good afternoon, everybody. Give me a minute while I cycle through these required slides here. I'm going to get a little personal here, but healthcare is a personal business. Imagine for a moment that you are sitting in a hospital next to your spouse or a loved one. Yesterday, their doctor shared with you that they may have cancer. You are nervous, scared, and greatly anticipating the test results that a radio pharmaceutical technician are about to administer. As you sit waiting, the nurse walks up to you. She tells you that the real-time dose of lymphoseek has been delayed by the pharmacy, and you'd have to wait and come back tomorrow. When you finally do get the test results back, surgery is scheduled. Your spouse or loved one are being prepped for surgery when the doctor embarrassingly tells you that their surgery kits didn't arrive that morning. Your surgery would have to be rescheduled. As your loved one is recovering from surgery, will the hospital pharmacy have the right antibiotics, pain control medicine, or other recovery medications in stock? Or will system issues have prevented fulfillment and delivery? In some industries, system slowness or downtime can affect branding image, bottom lines, or even company sustainability. In healthcare, these issues can have very personal or even tragic consequences. My name is Louis Verzi, and I manage the Java platform space at Cardinal Health, including the Wiley APM product. Over the next 30 minutes, I'd like for you to understand our growth journey of adopting Wiley, and hopefully you can take away some things that will help you, <clears throat> excuse me, in your environment. I'd like to start by sharing some information about Cardinal Health, as many of you may have never heard of our company. Cardinal Health is a multi-billion dollar healthcare services company. We are an essential link in the healthcare supply chain, providing pharmaceuticals and medical products to healthcare providers each day. We work with pharmacies, hospitals, doctor's offices, surgery centers, and clinical labs, even direct to consumer. Basically, anywhere healthcare services are offered. The facts I find most interesting here are that we service 75% of United States hospitals, and we provide over 10 million time-sensitive, patient-specific radiopharmaceutical doses each year. We have a couple main competitors. Some of them are here at, that, uh, at the conference today. Hopefully they don't take good notes. Our purpose is clear. We are committed to using our deep understanding of healthcare to deliver inventive and meaningful solutions that make healthcare more cost effective. As a result, our customers have more time to focus on what matters most, their patients. We are proactively adapting to the changing healthcare environment, offering product and service solutions to customers across the full continuum of care. From pharmaceutical and medical products distribution to nuclear pharmacy services and our home health offerings, Cardinal Health is bringing scale and expertise to serve our customers with our wide breadth of offerings. Cardinal Health serves a growing international base. This map is not updated after our recent Cordis acquisition, which expanded our operations presence to 50 countries in South America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Our nuclear pharmacy division has always been the most intriguing to me due to the unique nature of their business. These orders are called in within 24 hours of administration, uniquely dosed for an individual and hand delivered to a hospital or a point of care site within three hours of dosing. Some of these pharmacies dispense and deliver over a thousand doses a day. What makes this even more complex is that the doses are an unstable isotope, some with the half-life of a few hours. The pharmacist must dose the strength to exactly what the patient will need, taking into account radioactive decay. As you can imagine, system slowness or downtime can have huge consequences. As you can see, I am proud to work for Cardinal Health. I feel directly 
connected to patient health and have a passion around my work that is driven by providing the best and most cost-effective patient care. That could be my wife, my mother, my child, waiting for these products and services. And now on to the reason you came here today. I'd like to share the journey that Cardinal Health has taken over the last six years as we've adopted Wiley as our APM standard. I'll review our flagship e-commerce platform, how Wiley came to Cardinal Health, how our support model has evolved, how we've driven adoption, our current APM footprint, examples of value our clients are receiving from Wiley, our entry into DevOps, what's coming next, and supporting our growth challenges. Cardinal Health's e-commerce platform is a highly complex environment with integrations between many systems, each one having the capability to wreak havoc on our customer experience. I've simplified it here. We have six unique storefronts utilizing a shared platform composed of IBM Portal, Commerce, 113 discrete services across 14 clusters hosted on WebSphere, Extreme Scale, Indeca Search, Adobe Experience Manager, multiple DB2 instances, and IBM Integration Bus connecting it all together. Our backend interfaces include four different legacy ERP solutions. Here's where we get to the Black Friday reference. Most retailers spend a good part of the year planning for their big Black Friday sales event. At Cardinal Health, we plan for this on a daily basis. Due to the manner in which pharmacists across the country do business and Cardinal's commitment for guaranteed next day delivery, we experience a super peak of activity in the evening. 43% of our orders are submitted for processing between 6 and 8 p.m. One minute of downtime during that period can cost us over $200,000 in revenue. As you can imagine, during these two hours, minutes and even seconds count. We need to know what is going on inside our application in real time and be able to react instantly. Maybe SAP slowed down and pricing and stock availability are queuing up. This results in our portal response time climbing and web container threads are on the rise. How do we prevent that slowdown from impacting the rest of our platform? If we do nothing, the whole platform could become unresponsive. Now that you have that background, I'll set the scene to about six years ago. We are preparing to go live with our relaunched e-commerce platform. Millions of dollars in development had been invested and customer promises had been made. As we were load testing in our pre-prod environment, response times were unacceptable. We did what any IT shop would do and put together a SWAT effort of the brightest leads in each area to figure out what was going on. Even though these folks were all very intelligent, three weeks of dedicated effort went by with little to no progress. Our customer image and adoption of our new platform were in jeopardy if we didn't figure out this issue and launch successfully on time. In steps our CA rep for SiteMinder, Scott Williams, who has since moved on from CA. He doesn't know his picture is being presented publicly, by the way. Anyway, he hears about our problem and brings in a POC of Wiley. The issue was identified in four hours. Three weeks, 15 or more people in a conference room, and we found the issue in four hours. Not surprisingly, Cardinal soon made a purchase to bring Wiley into our environment. This, however, was only the beginning of the journey. Wiley didn't run itself. It needed to be operationalized. Our e-commerce platform was big, but it only represented one out of hundreds of the applications that could benefit from the technology. The e-commerce application team started supporting Wiley as they are the ones that purchased it. Unfortunately, they were focused on a business application and had no experience operationalizing a tool. Not only that, 
other application teams heard about the success within Wiley and became interested. It became clear that Wiley needed to be a shared service. So naturally, being a monitoring tool, it went to the enterprise monitoring team. The tool was new to them. They didn't have any app dev experience and had no idea about Java functionality. Like heap utilization, web container threads, JDBC connectivity or garbage collection, these were all foreign. They tried to make the product successful, but were not set up for success. This led to stagnation and Cardinal Health not being able to realize the full value of their investment. It was at this time that Wiley was transitioned to my team. At the time, we were the WAS team. We were able to bring Wiley to over 150 applications across nine vice presidents in IT. We were able to operationalize Wiley, keep it up to date, and drive value to our application teams, the business, and ultimately our customers and patients. Grab a drink here. There are a few ways or methods that we've used to drive adoption of Wiley within Cardinal Health. For our organization, it had to be a grassroots effort. To the rest of the organization, Wiley was just one more monitoring tool that was used by just one application. We started with sharing the wins the e-commerce platform experienced the issue resolution I described in stage was just one of these. With Wiley in production, we were able to investigate reported issues quicker because we were no longer blind to what was happening inside the container. When the issue was reported, we could poke around in the investigator and determine that commerce database calls were taking 5 to 25 seconds to respond, or that our back-end pricing calls were timing out. As we matured and built dashboards and alerting, we were able to know there was a problem with our site before the customer call center reported they had received 10 complaints or more. Oh, and we have 100 more customers in queue. As we developed in our knowledge of Wiley and our application, we built warning alerts so we could reset that struggling JVM before it impacted the rest of the site. We also partnered with CA to host roadshows with our application teams showing them the values that had been found other places in Cardinal and giving them informal training on what things to look for in Wiley and how to build dashboards. We continue this today as we encounter application teams that need help troubleshooting. At least once or twice a month, our current rep, Mike Thorne, gets a call from me. Does Wiley support web methods? Does Wiley support SharePoint? Can you help us through instrumenting this .NET application? When we received funding approval to upgrade to Wiley 9, we included money to instrument our shared platforms. This opened up Wiley to many new applications that were smaller, underfunded, or didn't have continuous development teams. They were able to realize the value of Wiley without having to invest in an APM product themselves. We also worked through our architecture team to ensure that by default, all new Java applications would purchase Wiley licenses for their platform. This ensured a consistent look and feel to our approach on monitoring. We set up a license pool in our internal cloud model that allowed small applications to only pay for the license they needed while still leveraging bulk discount rates from CA, further adding to our value proposition. Finally, through word of mouth advertising, we were able to drive branding recognition across the organization. When Wiley helped us find root cause, we would call that out in our messages to leadership. Using Wiley, we were able to determine that at the top of every hour, back-end response times increased to DB2, followed by rising JDBC connection threads. And finally, due to this slowdown, our web container threads were maximized and we were unable to take any new incoming connections. When applications that weren't instrumented experienced performance issues, we would say, hey, we own a tool that allows you to see inside the application container and figure out what's going on. We also have some extra licenses. So we can instrument your application today, and if it works for you, the licenses are very reasonable. That brings us to today. Our Senior Vice President of Shared Services has become a champion of Wiley himself. And as uninstrumented applications, non-Java applications, or acquisitions, 
run into performance issues, he is the first to say, can Wiley monitor that? I mentioned brand recognition a few moments ago. I think CA made a big mistake removing the Wiley name from the APM product. Hopefully don't give me the hook here. You notice throughout my presentation I still call the product Wiley rather than CAAPM. For one, the new name doesn't roll off the tongue very well. Second, APM is a product category, not a product name. I'm sorry, unless you're Kleenex or Q-tip, you just can't pull it off. We've retained the Wiley name in our organization and it resonates well with our clients. They recognize and trust the Wiley name and we continue to leverage that. CA, is there anything you can do about bringing back the Wiley name? This is a snapshot of our current APM footprint. We have Wiley instrumenting over 150 unique applications. That number grows to hundreds if you consider the individual services being monitored. It stretches across compliance and governance, order intake, fulfillment, and our back-end services. I asked around our development, operations, platform, and testing teams to understand the value they thought they were receiving from the Wiley product. From the platform team, their biggest win was being able to definitively say it's not a WAS issue. Application teams would continually blame their performance or stability issues on the platform. With Wiley, we can point out that they are making 10,000 calls to their database in 15 seconds and they may want to think about how they are structuring their SQL queries. Wiley has been invaluable in determining problems and back-end systems. Our database monitoring is rather immature, and using Wiley, we can show teams what SQL queries were run, at what time, and how long they took to respond. Finally, the platform team uses the metrics in Wiley for capacity planning. We can recognize trends in behavior, and add capacity to the systems before they are causing a problem in production. Perhaps the biggest user of the Wiley product is our performance engineering team. They can identify slow SQL before it hits production, compare production and stage throughput to ensure that their PE volume projections are accurate. They can also perform diagnostic work using higher levels of monitoring, like tracing classes, methods, etc. Finally, Wiley gives them a formalized standard for passing PE tests. And on to our application support and development teams. The build developers feel that they avoid those, two, those week or longer war room scenarios in stage at least two times a year. I think this estimate is low as each performance cycle, everyone is relying on Wiley metrics to troubleshoot and resolve issues with their release before it hits production. The application support team's biggest value is the threshold alerting, leveraging the ability to resolve an issue before it becomes customer impacting. With customers and competitors alike potentially here, I don't want to say how often this is implemented, but let's just say that it's helpful in maintaining application stability. Real quick, I want to show you the two 55-inch monitors set up near the e-commerce run team's desks. Although we don't rely on human watching of a dashboard, instead using alerting thresholds, the run team watches these monitors like a new mother watches her baby sleep. There is rumor that the run director has a Wiley dashboard set up in his bathroom, but I've yet to confirm this rumor. In all seriousness, when there is a production release or we are in peak order flow, all eyes are on these dashboards to catch any signs of fluctuation. I'm not going to spend too much time on this slide as I've already detailed the ways we are using Wiley in pre-prod. I will say that as we continue to mature and develop a, a DevOps mentality, we are looking at ways to drive issue detection to the left. One way we are looking to do this is to expand our Wiley footprint into the development or integration environments. The future is looking bright for our Wiley adventure. We are currently evaluating APM 10 or 10.1 or 10.2. We almost can't keep up with all the upgrades and functionality that CA is providing. The features that intrigue us the most are differential analysis, perspectives, 
timeline, and the command center. In addition, we are exploring enabling the team center for increased collaboration between our siloed departments. A network-aware APM is the biggest ask from our application teams right now. We are working with CA to determine how to leverage CEM and the direct integrations with our existing CA network monitor infrastructure. We are also exploring UIM, mostly for the features it provides and seen inside the database. And as all companies these days are, we are working to implement and tune our mobile strategy. And the mobile application and analytics features may give us the leverage we need. The last thing I want to talk about is growth. The above graph shows the growth in our e-commerce site over the past five years. As you can see, we've come a long way. The black line representing the volume of orders going through our e-commerce channel. We will continue to see double-digit growth in this platform. Cardinal Health is continually in acquisition mode. These are a few of the larger companies we've acquired recently. Wiley has helped to identify issues in a few of these and will continue to be a strength we leverage. We currently have 17 acquisitions announced and in process of integration. Our work is not slowing down. Hopefully, you have a better understanding about our journey adopting Wiley, or CAAPM. At the least, there may be a few nuggets of information that you can take away from this presentation and use them to go home and make changes in your environment. Wiley has been critical to our organizational success and more importantly, helps us to deliver reliable, consistent services to healthcare patients all over the world. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to address them at this time. Feel free to step up to the microphone near the front of the stage if you have any questions. Thank you. Any questions? Nope. Thank you.